good morning everyone I hope everyone is doing great so in this video I'll be sharing you one of the important interview question that is explain your roles and responsibilities so this is one of the uh, what I can say mandatory question that you will find it out in any interview and how to answer that so in this video I'll be answering it from the developers perspective so you may be a developer in any technology respective your technology you may be python developer dot net developer or the java developer i i believe i strongly believe that this video will be helping you for sure so firstly uh let me tell you how do i explain my roles and responsibility whenever i encounter this problem this is how i answer this within one or two minutes i'll finish it off so being a java developer i'll first analyze the given requirement to me so if at all if it is having a negative impact on the apl existing application then i'll highlight this issue in the any of the scrum call or to my scrum master and if at all if it is not having any negative impacts then i'll code it i'll test it and i'll be writing j units for it and i'll be checking the code and apart from that i'll be doing my code reviews or or peer review you can say attending all the scrum ceremonies and providing all my inputs or ideas wherever necessary helping qa with the test data analyzing the prod issues helping junior resources in the team and tracking team progress giving kt to new members in the team conducting interviews checking if the team members are done with all the mandatory trainings or not tracking submission of timesheets tracking team members performance tracking the leaves of team members so this is how i explain and there will be definitely counter questions as well to few of the responsibilities and the roles what i have said so let us discuss about this in deep so first thing is irrespective of a, your years of experience or on uh, irrespective of the technology this is the basic thing any java dev, uh, like any developer will do so firstly they have to analyze they will analyze the issue like they they'll analyze the story or the requirement and they'll code it they'll test it they'll write j units they'll check in so this is irrespective of the number of years of experience you have this will be the responsibility and apart from that you you do code reviews so code reviews this comes with little experience once you are an experienced candidate you do this uh, an extra responsibility will be added to you so here you can see a counter question like what all things you do when what all things you will check when you are doing a code review or a peer review so you can tackle it like this so our current project is on java 1.8 and whenever i am uh, doing a code review i'll see whether java 8 features are uh, we are make, whether we are making use of java 8 features or not in that particular piece of code so this is one way this is one thing you can handle then attending all the scrum scrum, scrum calls or scrum ceremonies and providing my inputs or ideas whenever uh, like wherever necessary meet, whichever meeting it is whether it is a retrospective whether it is a stand up whether it is any kind of meeting so i'll be pro providing my ideas on that helping qa with the test data so this scenario usually comes when there are uh, new qas into the team and they they may be lacking data and there may be uh, finding it out different scenarios so I, you can say that i'll be helping out them in finding the test data right test data and right scenarios so analyzing the prod issues so one of the biggest issues that any developer faces is uh, replicating the prod issues in the local environment so you can say that i take help from all the people like uh, like i'll be meeting senior qa levels devops guys dbas so because uh, the same to replicate the prod issues here so because prod issues in actual will take some time in replicating it in the lower environment so analyzing it and fixing it usually takes time helping junior resources in the team so basically i'll be helping out junior resources like there can be a counter question what kind of help you provide so there can be a, i i can i am ready to provide any help so basically people struggle to write integration test or unit test or maybe implementing some new features which they haven't worked earlier so i'll be helping out them in any of the technical thing or there are so few trainings that happens and we have to write some exams and we have to score some percentages so at that positions also i'll be helping them out and with, with the, like the next points will be for the like uh, experienced guy who are having six plus years experience like tracking team progress like how the team is doing whether the committed things have been are, are on on track and with the everything that we have committed will go in the release or not so basically we, there are different matrices that we follow to check the team progress then giving kt to new team members so 
as you spend a lot uh, enough amount of time that this becomes a mandatory things for you like giving kt to the new member in the team uh, explaining him about the different modules and different components in the project conducting interviews so once you are experienced enough so definitely the higher management will be expecting you to attend in uh, expecting you to conduct interviews and uh, help the company in recruitment process checking if the team members are done with all the mandatory trainings or not especially if you are in different MNCs for every year or every six months or uh, there will be a set of mandatory trainings that everyone has to be has to complete so that he stays in compliance with the company's policies or the client policies so tracking these things and helping out the managers in that like making his job easy here tracking the submission of timesheets this is one of the important thing in any IT company submission of the timesheets especially if there are client timesheets if at all you are forgetting to submit the timesheet the billing will be gone so there will be a huge loss and this will be having uh, like many companies consider this while giving you uh, promotions uh, of any year end appraisals so i'll be tracking the my the people who report to me i'll be tracking their timesheets weekly because this is a weekly thing that we do so i'll be monitoring it closely so that uh, this does not impact them and tracking the team members performance there, there are different matrices we use like i usually uh, evaluate the performance on different matrices uh, of my uh, the, of the people who report to me or who are uh, like working with me uh, tracking the leaves of team members so again this is uh, this is an optional thing to be honest like uh, you can say it or you cannot you can just leave it because most of the time like tracking leaves or uh, it's not a mandatory thing so these are the typical uh, roles and responsibilities that I give I believe this might be definitely helping few of us because when uh, like when I searched it on Google uh, four or five years back I couldn't find any ready-made answer for that so I was struggling at that time then I have noted this in my book all the roles and responsibilities so and these are not uh, and this is not in my current project these are uh, like cumulative you can say what all in different projects I have, I was having different roles so I sum up all those things and I have created this set of things and if you like this video please do comment or share this video in the different technical platforms so that this might be helpful to you as so others as well and provide your feedback whether you have liked this or not if you are watching this or if you are on our channel for the first time you can subscribe our channel and this is our channel you can visit our channel and you can see there are more than 100 videos that we have already shared related to different MNC interviews experiences or coding questions or hacker rank questions you can say and if you have a question like who are we and what we do we are basically a bunch of software engineers who attend interviews with different MNCs and share our real time interview experiences through these videos and apart from that we even share our subscriber friends interview experiences who shared with us if you want to reach us out you can click uh, you can there is an email id given in the description you can reach us out for any query if at all we can help we will definitely help it will we'll help on that and if at all you want to help us uh, there is a affiliation link of amazon if whenever you do a next shopping on amazon you can visit uh, amazon using our link and you can shop there uh, we may get some extra benefits like a not a benefit we may get some commission of the total value you spend on amazon so you can use that and that's it for this video and thank you for watching i hope this video will be helpful for at least few